sale. Yard sale. We found a yard sale. Yard sale. We gotta go over there. Bunch of stuff that I won't buy, but I'll be interested in nonetheless. Can we go that way? We're gonna go that way. Thank you. Too bad. We're going this way. Oh, just slide down here. Yeah, we're gonna go this way. We're rebels, you know. Yeah. Adult rebels. Absolutely. This is the channel for rebels. Exactly. <laughs> it was like a boat. Bunch of bins. Great bins, my favorite. I love bins. Love bins. Oh, look, there's a ride going upside down. Ooh. Are those part of the yard sale? We don't know. An instrument? <laughs> oh, Patrick, mayonnaise is not an instrument. Horseradish <laughs> isn't an instrument either. <laughs> There's a log holder for a fucking fireplace or a fire pit. Oh, yeah, there you go. Why don't the logs are included? That's a good question. Like an antique lawnmower. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This thing is all. This thing has seen better days. Yeah. He's not doing so hot. I wonder if that desk is for chair. For, for chair. I wonder if that desk is for chair. You know what it might be? Charity. Ha 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 ha. What one. a softball. Mm. <laughs> Imagine if you threw it in a car. <laughs> There's a reason why I went really slowly, so even if it did slip out, it was just gonna fall. It's just gonna fall. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a pitch anyway, I would not be good. Yeah. I'd be lucky to break like 60. You're lucky for separate cars? Yeah. I'd be lucky to break like 60 miles an hour. <laughs> Bunch of golf clubs. Are there? Little league bat. <laughs> Metal mug too. What? This one? Oh. Right here. Yeah. Oh. Made of copper. Huh. Interesting. I have a, uh, I think it's a tin mug yeah. in the house and it's in my freezer. I've kept it in the freezer since last summer. Oh, really? Yeah, so the first drink I pour into that is going to immediately, like, freeze. That's going to be great. Mama, I got the hang of it. Kind of. Like books. Books are shit. Go to the camera. That is a problem. I don't understand. Like, what? titles that are like this. It's so hard to read it. Oh yeah. It's like it took me like like a minute to think out to figure out that I was saying acceptable risk. And I and I am legible too. I'm not legible. I am able to read. Yeah. I don't know I don't know what that word is, but I can do it. No red me. Be gone. Ooh, but the IRS is watching know about better property from the new tax law. Hmm. Ooh. Can I put the 
Top 10 reasons why the IRS will hate you. Number 8 will shock you. Number 2 will make Trump die. Is this just straight up a college textbook? Yes. <laughs> I don't, I don't know how much you looked at like other books in other sections in college, but I live legitimately seen this book at our college. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> I, I've seen this before. I don't know if it's the same like thing, but it's like... Same. Sure. I wonder how much the books are. Ooh, cheat sheets. <laughs> Look at what we found! It doesn't look like I'm the only person that's bad handwriting. Wow! I see people all. screaming in the back here. <laughs> First of all! Thyroid power. Down. The Panther. Yeah. Time to Google. Yeah. Daddy wanted me to hold on to it. I'm like, oh, sorry. Uh, as a country in the way she could open it. Hmm. Pretty dirty though. It's a casual ticker butt right there. Pretty much, right? It's just the one that Tigger Butt. Oh no, Tigger Butt. It's, I find it kind of funny that I so gravitate towards books, despite the fact that I'm very much not reading a book at the moment. I know. <laughs> You're just <laughs> like, I like books, I but like I don't books. like reading them. Yeah. Well, it's not like you don't like reading them, but I don't have time to read them. Yeah. It's not even that I don't have time to read them, it's like I've just been like going off on a YouTube uh, yeah. binge, so yeah. I like to think of watching YouTube as like reading a virtual book. Okay. Except, except you're filled with great sadness after you're done. Because you realize just, how much I got a book from this Arthur, Arthur, author. Jan Karen? Yeah, she. I saw there was a book at the library that I picked out. It's like a, it's a whole series. I, I picked it up and it's like, I'm like book seven or something and I haven't yeah. read the other one so I'm gonna... So, <laughs> so just well, I'm just right? gonna start it right now, you know, at the end of the book. <laughs> kind of start right here near the end and then <laughs> work our way back. Yeah. Ooh, nightfall. Wonder what that is. <laughs> nightfall. I know. Don't you hate it when night falls. Indeed. Oh, Manhattan. I went there a couple of weekends ago. <laughs> There's a lot of anti-terrorist books here. I noticed that, yeah. Right? It's kind of interesting. Yeah. Well, I guess that was kind of the general, like, thematic of the books, I guess. The yeah. The theme of the books, like, post-9-11 especially. Yeah.
I don't know what this is, but I like the ball. Ooh. It's a bit, it's a bit dingle dangle, but it's still yeah. nice. Yeah. There's a whole lot of like candle holders too. Yeah. What's that book about? Um, something about like some sort of like um, I don't know. I just read it, but it's like um, natural disaster happening. It's happening underwater, and then this guy has to figure out what caused it. This plane to go down, I think it is. Huh. And then like they have to figure it's it out. Eleven, right. just in the end, you got to book. Yeah. <laughs> I'm intrigued. And that's when I saw her. I saw a woman on my beach. <laughs> Unfortunately, though, she also caused all of these great, great, terrible, terrible tragedies. Yeah. At the same time, she was really, really pretty. Yeah. So I kind of liked her still. Very weird looking shot glasses. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh. <laughs> a little tiny one. A little tiny one. It's blue. <laughs> I always like colored glass. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Like stained glass. Yes. We came full circle. Oh my god, we did. <laughs> that makes sense too because like right? my mind oh, so <laughs> Spike bottles used to be green? I didn't know that. That's kinda cool. Woo, we got books! Yeah we did. Books! Books at a yard sale at the festival. Now we're gonna go back and put the books away because I got like six books and they were only four dollars for all of them. That was a very good deal. Very good deal. My mom's gonna be like, what the hell? I know. <laughs> She's gonna be like, you went to a festival. We were supposed to get more books. I know. You went to a festival and you bought books? Oh, yeah, but it was like six of them for like four, four dollars. It's <laughs> a good yep. deal, right? I mean, yeah, but <laughs> no. But yeah, but no. I know. It's one of those things like it's getting to the point where like my room is like full of books and like instead of reading the ones I keep getting from the library, I just keep like going on YouTube instead and being like, I guess I'll just watch a lot of videos for a few hours and then not read the books that I'm supposed to be reading right now. Exactly. <sighs> but hopefully I'll get out of it this weekend. Yeah. Because I haven't been really on the internet today. Exactly. Been mostly. With, been with me. Yeah. I'll show them the books like when we get into the car, yeah. like the each ones that I got. Absolutely. I mean, they already kind of saw it, but just double measure. Yeah. I wonder if I should flip it. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hey. What's up? I think you're focused on me. I don't actually know. Cam was like, nah, I really like this tree in the background, I actually. Know, really. I'm yeah. feeling this tree right now. I like the tree lie. better. The tree's pretty cool. The trees are cool. So, going back to the car. Then we're gonna look at books. Then we're gonna go back to the festival. Festival! Festival! <laughs> cool. So this is the bag of books. So here's what I got. I think you guys already kind of saw it, but I'll show it to you again to get the full experience. Full experience. That one. Then this one's about. Oh yeah, a plane goes. I think it's like it says. Yeah, a man and a woman are in adulter adulterous, adulterous yeah. sex. And then in front of a video camera, 
and the camera catches like a plane that like falls down and then like the government's trying to explain it as a mechanical failure but this dude who's an ex -N 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 NYPD anti-terrorist force is like no I don't know something like that some kind of like FBI mystery plane disappeared kind of thing this is the second one I'm so out of shape, I'm out of breath. <laughs> so this one's about... Oh yeah. Some, a woman who has murders that happen around her and the detective shows up. And then this one is Acceptable Risk. And this is sort of doctor kind of one. This is actually kind of interesting. It said it's like, um... For Thanks, like... God. <laughs> it's for like, um medical controversy kind of thing and it's like a new drug is developed and how how do we define normal versus abnormal and like kind of like some psychiatric kind of stuff so that's that bag um, of course it's gonna get sunny now dong, 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 dong. I think what we what you predicted earlier what would happen has yeah. happened that now it's getting sunny and now it's getting hot. Told you. And like I'm a psychic. Uh, Told you. <laughs> okay, these are the next three books. And I love how we're just all standing here and they don't know it, but we're pretty much standing at a car yeah. talking to ourselves. Exactly. Or I'm the one talking to myself. But that's okay. You're gonna say talking to me. True. It makes it less awkward. Imagine if I was here alone. I know. I, like, <laughs> I don't even exist. <laughs> and then this one is, I don't know how to pronounce it. Kureta. There you go. You're welcome. Um, and it's like, it's, oh, another, like, Pakistan and U.S. and India and, like, you know, nuclear war and Wait, prevention. Wait, again, the nuclear war with India. Why? Why India? Well, I mean, it's like... Want me to read to you? Yes. Okay, can you do a dramatic... version, like, holding me... Like, look at me, and then I'll dramatically read it? Okay. Yeah, it's just the full L yeah. LSD screen. Okay. <clears throat> when a fragile peace breaks down and promptly devolves into a rapidly escalating shooting war between Pakistan and India, the United States is forced to intervene. With only hours remaining before the conflict reaches a deadly point of no return, the White House must find a way to shut it down immediately or risk the likelihood of a new global war. A radical cleric has become the de de democratically elected president of Pakistan and uses a brutal incident in the Kashmir region as an opportunity to ignite war with India. The highly lethal conventional war spins out of control when Pakistan initiates a nuclear attack. So I guess it's Pakistan. Rude. <laughs> India is on the verge of launching their own nuclear response, one that will have unimaginably disastrous results for both the US and the world at large. With only one, cho one chance to head this off, the President of the US sends in his best people to do whatever it takes to restore the fragile peace to the region. With the clock ticking and Pakistan in the hands of a religious radical willing to do anything to destroy India, there remains only one viable option, to execute a coup d'etat in Pakistan. Oh no. There is only one man with the skills and experience to infiltrate the live war theater and remove the Pakistani president from power. Only one man the White House can trust. John His Cena. Name? <laughs> That'd be great. His name, Dewey Andreas. What? Now they have to find him before time runs out. That is not dun, the best. Dun, dun. That is not the best name they could know, have chosen. Dewey, yeah. Dewey Andreas. Dewey Andreas. Yeah, it's not. It's not the greatest, but that is that is sad. <laughs> was it a good dramatic reading? It was. Okay. Because I started here, and I got yeah. close, <laughs> and then I went farther away, and then I just went to the side. <laughs> Give it like a dynamic, like <laughs> dun, dun dun dun. Okay. So there's that one. There's this one. Dark light. Dark light. Dark light. And this one's like about some like natural, it's like natural disasters happening, and like they have to get a guy in to figure out what happened and stuff. It's like, it's a thriller apparently. 
have. Like a boat they have to salvage or something. That's the best description I can give it to you until I read it. And then I can give you a better one. And then the last book I got was this one. And this one I actually picked up from the library like a week ago or so. It, within the series at least. Um, so it's actually kind of cool that I found this here. So it's part of the Mitford series. And it's just, you know, people. She has like, the in the one that I got, it has like, the, in the open flap, it's just a map of the town. And like, all that kind of stuff. It's like a fictional book. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright. So that's all we have for books. I'm gonna turn this off, and I might dump out my um, jacket. I'm not sure, because it's getting hot now. Yeah. But, yeah. See you guys soon. Right, David? Yeah! We're in the same boat Heading for different shores Facing each other Grasping at different oars We're cornered in a stalemate But the sun is down, it's getting late I've either gotta turn around